Well, hello civilians. Welcome back to our channel. And today we'll be talking about the career shift that's happening after the pandemic. So let's begin. Now 2020 came as a new year and we all expected it to be just another year that will be completely normal where billions of people will fail on their new year resolutions. But 2020 was completely different than normal years as it changed the whole world upside down. 2020 took the whole world by storm and it changed the way we worked, lived and interacted with each other. Now we have a new normal where we are expected to wear masks, to maintain a considerable distance of 2 meters and to stay indoors most of the time. Since the pandemic began in 2020, almost everything has been changed and the things that haven't been changed, they have transitioned into something more meaningful where we do things more effectively as well as efficiently. But what has changed the most is the ability how we approach and build our careers. The pandemic destroyed the careers of billions of people because many industries were shattered and were forced to change and adapt to the new normal. Earlier things used to change very slowly and life moved at a slow pace. This meant that if you have a skill, then you can literally work for years and years until your retirement without upskilling or reinventing yourself. Earlier people used to start their careers in a particular industry by getting a degree, a certification, a license or by learning a skill or starting their own business. Basically their careers were like a super tall skyscraper. They had a very strong foundation upon which they built many floors. This was the case with millions of people across the globe until the pandemic happened. But this is not the case today as now people have to upskill themselves after every few years or they will be outdated like an old machine. Today people change careers more often than before. Today a career shift is taking place where people don't just take a degree or a certification and they stay with their careers for the rest of their lives. Now people change their careers after some years of working in an industry either by choice or by compulsion. Now you could have 4 to 6 different careers in various industries before you actually retire at the age of 60 or 65. Earlier I told you about how people have their careers like a super tall skyscraper which has a very strong foundation. But today this has been completely changed and revamped. Today people have to treat their careers more like a tent which can be placed anywhere, anytime and anyhow. Since the tent is agile and flexible, you can also wrap it up very quickly and place it wherever and whenever desired. This has been the crucial distinction between how people used to approach and build their careers in the past versus today. So how is this career shift shaping up the lives of billions of people across the globe? Well, it brings a lot of changes and some are great, but some are not. So what are the great things? Well, they are as follows. The number one point is that you aren't stuck. Earlier, people used to graduate in science, commerce or arts and then they had to stick to that particular specific industry for the rest of their lives. Sticking to one thing is good, but what if you get bored of that particular industry and you just wanted to change your life a little bit just to have some new and fresh perspective. Earlier you didn't have the luxury to change industries because you had to go back to college and spend 3 or 4 more years of your life just to get a new degree and restart your life again in a completely new different profession. But now you don't have to go to college and spend 3 to 4 years of your life just to get a new degree because you can do small course on the internet that too for free or for a few pennies which might only last for a few days, few weeks or max to max few months. The new career shift allows you to experience life from many different perspectives as you get to work in different sectors with various people. This can teach you a lot more than if you worked in the same industry till your retirement. Now the second point is you get more skilled. When you know that you might be working in 5 different industries throughout your lifetime, you are bound to learn and educate yourself more than before just to stay relevant among the labor force so that your chances of getting hired are bright as fuck. This means that if you learn various skills just to stay relevant, ultimately you will become a more valuable and skilled person than before. Since you have upskilled yourself, you can proudly command more money than before because you haven't just built a resume, you have built relevant skill sets and ultimately a life. Now the third point is, you get to adapt. Now you might have heard a very famous quote that goes like this, adapt or perish. There were many brands in the past that became fortune 500 companies, but they failed miserably because they were unable to adapt to the changing market conditions. Now we have the likes of Nokia, Blackberry, Kodak and Blockbuster which were at the epitome of success. But despite their dream run, these companies collapsed and failed. 
Now, while Nokia is still trying to make a comeback, it hasn't been as successful as it was before. This scenario means that if you don't adapt to the changing demands of the marketplace, very soon you will be redundant and no one will hire you. Hence, if you want to stay relevant in the 21st century and still want to earn a decent living, then it's better that you learn how to adapt quickly and to adjust to the changing demands of the marketplace or you will perish. Now, this constant changing can teach you to remain flexible, agile and open to any new opportunities that can come across your way. Basically, you become more open-minded and you're always ready to upskill and change yourself in order to stay relevant. This is a thing that baby boomers are finding it very hard to implement in their lives because for most of their adult life, they haven't changed that much. This is an area where the millennials and the Gen Z beat the baby boomers very easily. If you are a millennial or a Gen Z, then I would recommend you to keep learning and change yourself constantly. So these were the advantages, but what are some of the disadvantages of this career shift? Well, they are the exact opposite of the advantages and they are as follows. Now the number one point is, you have to constantly change. Now the biggest disadvantage of a constant career shift is that you have to keep changing as per the demands of the marketplace. It sounds really cool that you can actually work in various industries and change your career as soon as you feel bored. But in reality, it's a lot harder than it sounds. Changing a career can be quite frustrating as you always need to figure out which is the next big industry that is about to get a boost and which is the next industry that will ultimately come to a halt. Constantly changing your career can be quite demanding and it will require you to stay focused and keep yourself updated with what's happening around the globe. If you don't change yourself, then you might get redundant. Now the second point is that you have to upskill. Today, you have to upskill yourself and this process can be quite difficult and tiring for those who are in their 40s or 50s. Earlier, I talked about how the baby boomers who are now struggling to stay relevant because the world around them has changed almost completely. The baby boomers are finding it quite hard to learn new skills and educate themselves because they aren't as good as the younger generation which is better than them at using the internet, a smartphone or a laptop. The millennials or the Gen Z can learn anything faster than the baby boomers and thus raise their chances of getting hired by prospective employers. Hence, upskilling sounds good in theory, but not everyone will benefit when everyone has to upskill themselves in order to stay relevant. It will be quite difficult especially for those who are poor or broke as fuck as they don't have the resources to constantly educate or upskill themselves. Now the third point is, you could get outdated. Since you have to upskill yourself after every few months or years, almost everyone or anyone who doesn't upskill themselves could be potentially at risk of losing his job as well as his livelihood because they aren't relevant to any potential employers. Millions of jobs today are either being outsourced to lower income countries just to reduce the cost of production or the jobs are being automated with the help of AI, machine learning, robots or automation that could work for 24-7, 365 without any breaks, vacations or bonuses. There are 1.7 million truckers in America and another 1.7 million drivers of taxis, buses and delivery vehicles, all of whom are estimated to lose their jobs due to self-driving vehicles. When an employer has the ability to either outsource or automate most of his work, your chances of being employed are slim to none. Hence, if you really want a job, you either need to get on board with the demands of a prospective employer, thus upskilling yourself, or you stay unemployed and broke as fuck. Now, concluding this video, all we can say that the new career shift which is happening all around the globe due to advancements in technology as well as due to the pandemic is here to stay. So if you don't adapt to the new normal, then it won't be very long that you will find yourself in the same place as an old Fortune 500 company which went bankrupt because it failed to adapt. This radical shift has some major benefits if you embrace the new normal and begin to appreciate what it has to offer. Now we all are forced to either adapt or perish. You got two choices, but you don't have much time. So make a choice and make it quick before it gets too late. Well, that was it for today's civilians. Now, if you really liked our content, then please like, comment, share and subscribe. It's your likes that motivate us to make more content just for you. And do follow us on Instagram because our community of like-minded people is growing bigger day by day. So thanks for being with us until the end. We'll see you in the next one. And thank you.